What's up? My name's Logan Slade. I'm a mercenary. I work for Grey Tower. You need somebody killed or protected, or maybe married, or loved. I'm your guy. Do you want the person protected to be rammed hard and pleasured deep? I can do that too. Just ask Bob the janitor. I was just joking. My name's really Matt Whiteside, and I just finished reading Dark Prison by J.M. Brister. Great Towers book series. Series. <laughs> this is my first book review. I don't typically read, or I haven't read romance before. Um, so this is my first foray into the experience. I was a virgin, so to speak. And uh, this popped my cherry pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I I want to talk about... So I want to kind of break this up into a couple categories. So we'll start with the good, the things I liked. There's a lot I liked about this book. It's a reason I gave it a five-star rating on Amazon. Um, this was more than I expected. It was... It was fast paced. It was energetic. There was um, a lot of moving parts that were connected really well together. Um, this book had a lot more action in it than I, ex I suspected. Um, from the very beginning where the prologue, we meet Kiera and Damien Amherst. Kiera's the daughter, the main character, this beautiful young woman who just graduated college. Damien Amherst, her father, this business tycoon who's also out of his freaking mind, you know, the very first in the prologue at the end of the prologue we see him by like, kicking the crap out of her so right then and there i was like okay this is different for sure this isn't what i was expecting from a romance uh, or erotic novel that kind of thing it was definitely something different so from the very beginning we get we get that and from then on out it's a lot of twists and turns in terms of um action there's a lot of gunplay. There's mercenaries involved. Uh, the Great Tower is um, a group of mercenaries for hire or for protection. Um, basically, guys, ex-military who get the job done. Um, there are there are a lot of dudes, dudes, dudes in this book. Um, everybody's got a six pack, which I enjoyed. I <laughs> I'm still working on mine. Mine's like a more, you know, I don't even want to say it's a keg because that's a cliche. Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of dudes. So if if you're a chick and you like dudes, or if you're a dude and you like dudes, you'll get your dudes in this book. Um, the a lot of all heroic. Logan Slade is the hero. He's the man's man. He's ready for action, and I'm talking all kinds of action, ladies and gentlemen. He's ready for it. He's um. I was surprised he was always ready for it. I don't know <laughs> if he was using performance enhancing drugs or what, but he was always ready to rock, and uh, I admire that. <laughs> I admire that. And he was kicking some ass. He kicked some serious ass in this book. Kiera Amherst, a beautiful young woman who has been tortured physically and mentally. Uh, by her father and lost her mother in a terrible car accident and uh you know she she's trying to find her way she's this damsel in distress she's trying to be saved and logan does come in and save her and this romance that that blossoms is pretty pretty intense and some of the stuff that was like for an erotic romance transitioning from as much action as there was in this book to the um, sex scenes and they do there is sex involved to the sex scenes and all the 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 stuff that went on there like the the way their romance blossomed um, it was done really well for for a book that you know went from action fast-paced action to um, to romance I 
typically with, and this is just my assumption. Like I said, I haven't really read romance before, but it would, it would have, it would have to move slower. But JM did a good job of progressing the romance along in a, in a, in such a way that the attraction and the, and the physical connection was there for both characters. Um, yeah. And, some other good things it was it a lot of the stuff i didn't like i like i said before i didn't see it coming it was it was nice to see that like it was suspenseful and then you got this payoff um and that's and that's a good that's good storytelling and i really enjoyed that the um some of the some of the stuff that i didn't necessarily like was the lack of the a strong female character um like i said Kier was mentally physically abused um i i wanted to see a little bit more character development from her that we just didn't get um but she was i mean she was in her situation you can you can you know forgive her for the way she she acted you know because she was abused in in a literal prison um in her home and and just in a dark prison in her mind as well. So you, the um, JM did a great job of showing that, bringing light to that mental torment and physical torment that she had to endure. Um, for the sexy, this is the good, the bad, and the sexy. The sexy was there. Um, the intercourse, there were a lot of rock hard boners, a lot of supple nipples. Um, <laughs> damp towels to clean up some some man juice. <laughs> this book was tight, man. It was real tight. And if you're into some sexy, fast-paced, erotic action with lots of guns, and I'm talking finger banging guns. <laughs> as well as real ones. I think you'll like this book. Um, but like they say on Reading Rainbow, don't take my word for it. You can't see anything. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> Check it out yourself. It's, it's available on Amazon and digital download. Look at those sexy nipples. He barely even has nipples. My nipples are much bigger than that. <laughs> it's available in paperback and digital download. Check it out. Jay and Brister. Um, Dark Prison. Gray, tier, Gray Tower. Book one. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you would, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification for the bell. You know what? We love you. Love you. Love you. You know what?